as an anesthesiology first and foremost is you have to position the heart in such a way you access the coronary vessel okay you have to give a good optimal access for the surgeon to assess the coronary artery the next is you have to stabilize that particular part where the coronary vessel is located you will apply your suction apparatus at that point so that the local cardiac motion is static by causing displacement there is going to be lot of hemodynamic instability which is going to be challenge for the anesthesiologist to maintain and fourth important primary goal is minimize your myocardial injury by maintaining adequate coronary perfusion even though they are stopping the coronary blood flow for few minutes so you have to give good positioning you have to stabilize the heart nicely so that the surgeon can take the anastomosis manage your hemodynamic instability and prevent myocardial injury this are your four primary goals so what are the various mechanism by which your hemodynamics is halted the first and foremost is cardiac compression on arterial ventricular dimension caused by the octopus and the starfish suction apparatus right ventricular compression which is very important during obtuse marginal grafting mechanical stabilization and target area immobilization which can alter your left ventricular systolic and diastolic function your cardiac manipulation and impact diastolic function all can cause hemodynamic instability let us look at each causes for hemodynamic instability coming to cardiac compression it leads to hypotension which might aggravate the already ischemic myocardium and this ischemia can lead to an ischemic mitral regurgitation and this regurgitation can aggravate the dysfunction again this dysfunction can cause hypotension and there is already coronary occlusion which might aggravate your ischemia so this forms a vicious cycle hypotension ischemia mitral regurgitation dysfunction hypotension all form a cycle 